Yo, yo, what's going on, y'all? I have a revelation coming from Ruth chapter 1, verses 1 through 6, and it's entitled Naomi and Moab. Once in the time of the judges, there was a famine in the land. So a man from Bethlehem of Judah departed with his wife and two sons to reside on the plateau of Moab. The man, na the man was named Elimelech, his wife Naomi, and his two sons Malon and Chilion. They were Ephrathites from Bethlehem of Judah. Some time after their arrival on the Moabite plateau, Elimelech, the husband of Naomi, died, and she was left with her two sons, who married Moabite women, one named Orpah, the other Ruth. When they had lived there about ten years, both Malone and Chilion died also, and the woman was left with neither her two sons nor her husband. She was she then made ready to go back to the plateau of Moab because word reached her there that the Lord had visited his people and given them food. So the revelation that Holy Spirit gave me through this scripture is there will be someone who will be relocating and ending a relationship. And after you relocate and end this relationship, this is when the Lord will provide food. Food represents his word, his instruction, as well as nourishment. Nourishment is something that provides what is needed for someone to be healthy and for someone to grow and develop. This is something that was lacked in a previous relationship, for in that relationship there was famine, warfare, extreme scarcity of food, a shortage. So in their previous relationship, the one that the father is having them to end and relocate from, there was no food there was a scarcity of food and there was warfare and there was a shortage on food and we said that food represents the word of God and his instructions and his nourishment okay so in this previous relationship that this person was in there was a shortage and a scarcity on these things on the word of God and his instructions and his nourishment Another thing that the father pointed out is these were men of God who married Moabite women. And that's another, why, another reason why these relationships are going to come to an end or they need to come to an end. Because these are men of God who married women, you know, who were strange or foreign to the Lord thy God. Okay, so that's one of the reasons why this relationship is ending and that is for some not all people okay but there will be a relocation and the ending of a relationship and when this takes place the father says he will provide the food he will provide the word he will provide the instructions and he will provide the nourishments the things that are needed in order to keep you healthy and to help you grow and develop okay and that's the message peace